I think when we die, everything we've learned and all the good we've done and all our mistakes, but basically our learning goes with us when we die. And at the same time, it's retained within the collective psyche of our species. So all of our experiences are preserved by the individual consciousness that continues their learning once they leave time and space. But because they are a member of this species, and because this species has a mind, which is integrating all of the conscious experiences of all of its members, that means all of my experiences and everything I've written about and everything we're talking about here, they're not lost to humanity when I die, but they're literally hardwired into the collective psyche, the collective unconscious, right? Now, that means that um, I think we have to think quantum, kind of in a quantum fashion rather than an atomistic fashion when we think about what happens to these fields as the physical body comes and goes. Physical bodies come and go, souls endure, species have a soul, there is a species soul, there is an Akashic field Laszlo talks about, you could even describe it as an Akashic soul of the universe. There's this tremendous kind of network of consciousness which is constantly integrating the experiences of all of its members. Uh, yeah, so I, I, can, I could imagine any number of variations of what happens to these fields after we are no longer on the scene.